Hello there. So I decided I would do another video. This is actually just going to be a tutorial. I've never done a tutorial before. Um, I have a video on my channel of me playing the Solo to Pastures by Pliny. And um, I don't really see any good tutorials out there. I've, I've seen some that aren't really accurate. And so I just figured, why not? Give me a chance to make another video, have a little bit of fun, and i um, actually hoping to make some videos in the future, put together some stuff. Um, YouTube isn't really my main focus, but it's kind of a nice little fun side hobby, I think. So uh, we're gonna give it a go. We'll get right to it. Hopefully minimal editing on this. I have my Ibanez with the Australian blackwood top. It's the closest thing I got to anything that resembles Pliny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneezy. <coughs> All right. So let's make this camera actually work for this. Hang on a second. I see a whole lot of bad things coming here. really have a actual setup so bear with me while I kind of do this yeah we can make that work all right so the solo um, I'll probably do another cover of it one that has much better audio than the one I threw up and also the one that I did originally I went back and kind of relearned it and I listened to a particular part of it again, and I think I got a much more correct way of playing it figured out. The rest of it I feel really good about. So I'm just gonna take you guys through um, how I play it now, and here we go. So he uses a bar a lot, so if you don't have one, it's probably not gonna sound quite right. And also my guitar is tuned down a half a step, but my low E, is not tuned down the extra full step like Pliny would do. So there's only one time when that would come into play. There's a couple ways around that. I'll show them to you guys. All right, so first lick. All right, so it's a slide down, 10 on the B, 12 on the B, 10 on the E, 12 on the E, and then like a bar dip and a slide up to 14 on E. All right. Then he goes into this really Steve Vai kind of sounding thing. A lot of bar dips. Hit, these are all kind of pre and along with the note. So it's it's um, 19, pull off to 14, then 17, then 14. And then 12, pull up to 9, slide down to 7, 10 on the B, 7 on the B, then e, uh, 9 on the E. So it goes. Oh yeah, there's that. So. You're going to want to grab that harmonic. It usually sits right about here on the B string. So uh, maybe this would be a little better if I didn't have the delay going. Hang on a second. Um, just so, for clarity of the notes. Come on, there we go. Uh, what is going on here? Hang on one second guys, sorry about this. I'll just edit all this out. Okay. 
So, so far we have Then he goes up to here, 19 on the B, and then 22 on the E, and he bends it up to an E. And there's not really, to my recollection, there's not really any vibrato going on there. It's like... And then he goes into this real Steve Vai thing again. Oops. So it's um, bend up and then staccato kind of pick. 22, 21, 19. Now I go with my middle finger for what it allows me to do later in this lick. So and then he goes up to 21 and then down to 17. Oops. Then up to 19 and down to 14, so. And then uh, 17 to 12, back to up to 14. Then 10 to 12. Hang on, I gotta play it. Oh yeah, that little switch right there. That's why you use your middle finger. So it's... Then he goes 12 on the, on the B and then he bends it up a uh, semitone to catch the chord change. So, so far. Then there's this lick, it's it's just kind of, I guess you'd almost call it polyrhythmic, um, but it's just picked in an off time pattern so that it comes around at the, at the, at the end. But it goes nine to 10 on the D, 11, nine on the G, 12 to 10 on the B, 12 to 10 on the E, 14 to, 15 to 14 on the E, uh, 19 to 17 on the E, so it's, so that's, bend it up, pull off to 17, bar dip hammer on at the same time to 19, then pick 20 on the, excuse me, 20 on the um, B. Then pick 17 on the E. And then 19 on the B. So let's see. So all together. Just blowing through it. All right. Then this lick, it took me a while listening to this to figure it out. There's some double picked notes in there. And without it, the phrasing of the, the descending run doesn't quite sound right. So you got to get them right. So it goes. So it's 
So it's think in terms of maybe A Dorian or C Lydian, but it's eight seven eight seven, then ten eight seven, then eight seven. Sorry, I was just making sure I had it right there. Yeah, I'm playing it wrong. Hang on. So there he goes. Ten, eight, seven, eight, seven. Ten, eight, seven. Yeah, he slides down. He, you could do it here. Ultimately, it's the same note. But I play it, and I hear a little glissando kind of slide in there when I listen to it really slow, so... Seven, eight, seven, ten, eight, seven. Pick eight, pull off, slide down to five. Seven to five. Pick five again. Hammer on pull off, seven, back to five. Slide down to four, then seven to five on the D string. And then he goes up and he, he uses the same notes only an octave higher and he goes ascending sixes. So it's uh, 15, 17, 19, twice. Then 16, 17, 19, twice. And then 16, 17, 19, twice. And then 17, 19, 20. Seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twice, with a bend, and then choke it off at the end. Then it's a bend, then release, pick, but pick both notes. Uh, twenty, two, on the E, and then twenty, nineteen. Then 22 again on the B. So the whole that whole little section is. Alright. Alright, so this next ascending run kind of think like diminished but with whole steps and half steps in there so basically it'd be um, five seven eight on the e or you can play it zero two three then you would go six seven nine on the a so it's, then you repeat an octave up Lord, I haven't played this in so long, sorry. Right? So this pattern, hold, half, and then next string go half, hold, then next string, hold, half, then next string, half, hold. Right? So the no the numbers, if you need them, are 5, 7, 8, 6, 7, 9, 7, 9, 10, And this is kind of the trick part. And let me just play it real slow so I make sure I have it right. Right. So when you get to here, he goes 10 on the B, 
7 on the E, slides up to 8, hammers onto 11, does this, and then um, you have to slide this guy back down for the hammer on lick that comes up. So it's slow. It's It's hard to play it holding my fingers like that. So it's five, seven, eight, six, seven, nine, seven, nine, ten, eight, nine, eleven, ten on the B, seven on the E, slide up to eight, hammer on to eleven, hammer on uh, or tap with your middle, you know, either of these, any of these fingers, but twelve. And then pull, do that little pull off from 11, 7, back to 11. Then move it up to 14, 15. So the whole thing. Right? Then comes the cool sweep arpeggio again Steve Vai all the way. This whole solo just reeks of Steve Vai, but in like a really awesome sort of way of reeking. Um, the notes are, and I've seen Pliny. So when I played it, I played the sweep like that, not moving my fingers. I saw one of these little like nighttime jam videos, like minute long videos and he, I saw him playing the same arpeggio shape but what, the way he plays it is he jumps his first finger like this so I learned to play it like that so the notes you're going to be using are um, 19, 14 on the E 17 on the B 16 on the G for this part of it And it's important not to pick that top note. I even think that it's possible, because if you listen to the solo really closely, you can hear what may be your little punches. I think it's possible that he probably just played it. Like that, or something. And again, I'm sorry I'm rusty, but you don't really hear the picks too much. And that's kind of what gives it that real chimey like just beautiful it's just a beautiful sounding little arpeggio that he plays right there but the way i play it is you can even you can play it like uh you pick the first one There's, a, there's just a lot of ways to pick it. Right? So the, I think the big important one is that you don't pick this, this note. You don't want to hear that. You just... You just... It sounds better if it's not picked. So he plays it... One time. Two times. hard to do slow right so he does it so that little where he the time he changes it up and he plays the hammer on 14 17 14 he bookends it with two times here so it's See, so each time, each time before and after, when he plays before it and after it, it has a, it's two of those. And then the last time, another very Steve Vai ism is sometimes Steve Vai plays like stacked fifth arpeggios, like that, right? Rather than 
doing that, Pliny ends with a. So just 16, 17, 19, and then slide down to 14, right? Just like that. So then this next arpeggio, this is the, I played this totally different on the cover I did. Um, but for this, I, I listened to it and I knew I wasn't playing it right. So I really broke it down, like way down. And I realized essentially it's a, um, like a B minor type arpeggio shape. But he uses the same shape that we just used. He, so then it goes slide up to 12. It may be the recording has a slur in it. And I don't know if that means it was punched in or if he slides into the note or if it's just slot. It happens so fast that even on the slowest speeds in the DAW, I can't really make out what's happening. It's just one of those little messy things. So um, the way it sounds like to me though, is I definitely hear this note. Um, so that part of the, sorry, I definitely hear the D and then that part of the arpeggio, but then it sounds like it was So there's a lot of different ways one could play this. It could be, um, right? I prefer, you can almost hear like a little staccato. Again, it sounds like a punch, but it, it's almost like a staccato note. That's how I play it now, just to get through it and it's playable and it sounds very, very close to the recording. So it's slide up to 12, 11, um, so I slide up to 12 on the D, 11 on the G, 12 on the B, so a real common B minor uh, arpeggio shape, but then then uh, 14, slide back down to 12 on the B, and then I kind of just rake back this way, sweep. Um, however you want to play it. But it'd be 11 on the G, then 11, uh, 9, 11 on the D. And then I, I like landing on that one because then you go into this same shape you just use here. You do it here. Right? So that's how I play it. Uh, 11 on the G. 12 on the B, 9, um, 12, 9 on the E, 12 on the B again. And then the phrasing is kind of weird. Again, sounds punched. Like that. So then the second time I've just sweep. Uh, 11 again, 12 again, and this time go 9, 14, 9, like that. And then you, this is where the tapping kind of goes crazy, but it's not that hard. So it's, you're going to do, um, these, that's your shape down here, and then it starts up here, so. Oops. Yeah, that's it. So 17, 12, 14. Hang on, let me make sure. Yeah. So it's, it's two taps and then the... hammer back up. So it's like a roll kind of. And 
then on the second time you go up and do that. It's like a... So two quick taps, pull off, slide down, and then hammer on. Let me just play the whole tapping sequence for you, so because I'm not, I've never done a tutorial, I'm not very good at it apparently, <laughs> but hopefully you get something out. So. All right, so that's it. So it's. So the first two are it's and it's it's two taps on every single one of these notes. So the notes are fifteenth, uh, excuse me, seventeenth fret on the E. Um, seven five seven on the E. Then nineteenth um, fret on the E. Then seven five seven, and then back down to seventeenth uh, fret and then seven five seven. And then what's important is at the end of these phrases, he stays on the same string and then the, the tapping hand is the hand that jumps. So it goes. So then it goes 19, then 17. And this hand does the same thing. Now it's a pentatonic bass lick. So on the next string, you have to go uh, um, 19. And then 16. So the whole thing from this point is. Now this is the only one that's different. On this one he hammers on here. So let me see if I can not butcher this. So it's five, it's seven, five, seven, five. It's five, seven, five. Excuse me, seven, five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, four, seven, seven, four, seven. And then just land on that note. And then down here it's, um, it starts 17, then it goes 19, then 17, then it goes 19, 17, 19, 16, 19, 16. Take that note. So, then from here he slides up to the, just a semitone, Jaws minor second. Uh, the notes are 10 and then 7 on the B. You can play them for however you want, but hit them with... You know, use your bar. He he's definitely tweaking on the bar and getting some kind of harmonic out of it at that point. So that whole little And then this little lick here, it's just ascending triplets. 11, 12, 14. 11, 12, 14, 12, 13, 15, 12, 14, 15. And then a slide at the end. Then we're back up to the 22nd fret on the E and we bend it. Then 
he uses a lot of the same notes, just in slightly different phrases, um, or with slightly different phrasing, different slides, different tricks. So it's the same. Uh, 22, 20, 19, 19. But this time it goes down to 17. So it's like to 14. Now, let's see. Right. So 14, then 15, and then 15. But I find I play these two first and third finger so I can get that second finger to do the bend there and really smooth vibrato on all of plenty stuff but especially wide and slower than probably 80% of you are going to do it really make that note sing Right, so then, then it's 14, then 15, 16. <laughs> Finally came out, 30 minutes later. So it's 14, then 15 on the E, 16 on the B, 17 on the G, I slide down when I make that little transition because I can hear a little slide in the song. Slide to 16 on the G and then 14. And then grab the bar because and get ready. These are the notes that I play. So 16, 14, 12. All on the G string, by the way. 11. Then back up to the 14, 12, 11, 9. And then you can just slide down from 11 to 9. Or... I do it that way to get a little more pull on the notes. And the whole time, you're wanking on your bar. with a couple of well-timed, real heavy dips. Like that. So, <sighs> look, I know this is probably one of the sloppiest tutorials. Oh, I'm looking over here, right there. There's the camera hole. I know this is not probably not the greatest tutorial. Um, making videos isn't really my thing, although I do want to try and do more of them and get better at it. But I've had a number of people actually reach out to me and say, hey, how do you play that solo? I've been trying to learn that solo. Um, and so I thought, well, you know what? Maybe this will actually be something that people would want to watch. I don't know. I hope you guys get something out of it. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, have a good day.